Hi guys, how you doing? Uh, I'll be here. So, um, I'm currently at the airport. I'm in Atlanta right now. Um, we had left Boston to um, be in Atlanta and we're going to New Orleans. I'm excited, you guys. So, I'm here to the TV. Um, we are going to meet Grace and her boyfriend as well over there. They are driving from another state, um, uh, a neighboring state. So it's gonna be all of us, just like we were in Hawaii. And then, uh, so yeah, we're here at the airport, and I didn't vlog earlier because I was so tired. I don't know if you can tell that I'm still tired, and maybe my eyes are even swollen because I slept the whole first leg of the trip. Um, I like early morning flights because. I get to get to where I'm going on time and I can still do some stuff but at the end of the day I never get sleep before uh, we depart <laughs> and I tend to sleep on the flight and I think that's what I tell myself I'll sleep on the flight I'll sleep on the flight uh, but yeah oh, it's an early morning well not even early morning it o'clock flight but well, we got to the airport around 6 30 and I, I didn't park earlier so I had to park in the middle of the night and I got like what three hours of sleep and then slept on the flight so that's how I look or I may look how I look right now um, so um, I'm excited for this trip like I said and I'll bring you guys along all right so we have just landed in New Orleans and we're going to meet Grace. They're outside waiting for us. Hi, Grace! Ah, I miss you! <laughs> I miss you, Grace. How are you? How are you? You guys, you miss Grace? You haven't seen Grace in a long time, you guys. Look at Grace. Look at Grace. Ah, milk like skin like milk. I said milk like skin. <laughs> Look at Grace, you guys! Hi! Oh, because she's uh, coming to Boston afterwards. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'll okay. see them go and see at you. We are here. We are here. <laughs> oh, the bad. We are here, guys. Oh, this place is nice. May nothing but happiness come through our door. That's nice. This place is beautiful, you guys. Look at that. Oh, I love it. How's the wedding style? Attention to details. I love it. You guys see that? Beautiful. I love all. I love the. the I love the the person aesthetic. Like this person really knows how to. Decorated space. Just look at that. Look at that art. Nice. This is one room. Nice, nice, nice. The closet. I love this. I love that wall clock. It's so pretty. And there's art on this wall. And there's the bathroom right there and there's another room here I'm coming now and then okay I'm coming and then what's here this place is locked I'll figure it, I'll figure it out later oh look at the kitchen Pretty. It's pretty. Laundry room. Oh, even the laundry room is nice. Like I can literally stay here and study. I mean, I didn't come here to study. Just saying. But yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
hi guys so it is day two and um you know it's afternoon already at this time but we you know we've eaten we've had breakfast delicious breakfast and right now we're going to the new orleans art museum museum of art no <laughs> Nice, that's the sound I get. Honestly, I know a street in Canada that never looks like this. Even when people outside telling the come I eat. It's like China. Bourbon Street is a whole vibe, like a whole vibe. We were walking on the street for like a whole hour, like over an hour, we're still working on Bourbon Street. And today's Thursday and it was a whole vibe. So imagine being a whole vibe on Thursday, what's gonna be on Friday. And then on our way, we bought Popeyes. So like, how can you be in Louisiana and not buy Popeyes, right? So we bought some Popeyes chicken. I want to see if there's actually a difference between that and the one in Boston or if I'm not really a fan of fried chicken I don't really eat fried chicken but I want to see if there's actually something about it that kind of makes it stand out since we're here where it's been made you know like Louisiana's kitchen right hi guys we're heading to breakfast you know saying that kind of reminds me of Puerto Rico how I always pick up the camera and be like hi guys as usual we're heading to uh, breakfast but anyway guys we are heading to breakfast so you know we want to go eat grits and shrimp um, it's from here grits and shrimp is from here like it's known to be from Louisiana so like why would we be here and not eat grits and shrimp so we're going to eat the grits and shrimp for breakfast and I'm excited to taste it. It's something I could have done by myself in the house, but I'm like, mm, no, I want to come here. What are, I'm like, what is peeling? What are you peeling the whole time? I'm like, I have to come here to actually eat it so that it can be authentic, you know? I don't want to ruin my taste bud. But anyway. I already know what I want, and that is this one. There you go. 
Yes, say hi. I don't know if it's like tagine sauce. It's different. It's a different type of sauce. Hi. Say hi. Hi. Why is there? I don't plan it. Happy birthday, cheese. Cheese. Close enough. Ah, no. Mmm. That's hot. Oh wait, I think there's one. Hmm? There's berries in it. There's no cinnamon in it, but it's too, it's too, it's too strong. The coffee is too strong. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. Thank you. Alright, baby. Uh, just watch the branches as we're going through up ahead. It's a tight squeeze coming up ahead. Some of our branches, they can rub real close to these rails. It's not yellow water in a minute. There's an alligator right there in front of the boat, too. Uh, left no, I, I think I see. Where's my leg? Look <laughs> in front of the boat. It's been nice. I'm right literally outside. <laughs> Oh, don't even get the alligator. Let me a bald something. eagle has the largest nest of any bird in North America. A bald eagle uses the same nest every year. They Twice. add one to two feet a year to that nest. Their nest can get two to three tons. Wow. The largest nest ever recorded that was found in Florida. It was 20 feet deep and weighed almost three tons. We'll use in a minute. We're going to get in that next waterway. That's a big one, you guys. That's, a really That's big. That's the biggest we've seen so far. There's two one along this floor right here next to me. I don't know if you guys can see. There's plenty of them right there. They're all over the place. There's like two right there. There is one right there. There's there's plenty of them. Yeah, I think it's turning around now. Come back up. Oh. Ah, you go first. Never piss, man. Real food. I'll be doctor at 3 Hey! 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 You got it? I think so. <laughs> My boss recommended we go to a place called Cafe Du Monde. So that's where we're going right now. Um, we're going to eat beignet. Beignet. Then that's how you pronounce it. And she said it's really good and it's also a thing that, it, that Louisiana is known for. So. I'm excited for that, and from there we're gonna go eat. No, because we already got, we're still gonna eat dinner. But we're selling, what is that one selling? That one? Flour. Flour. Because at the end of the day, it's the same thing. Thank you. You're welcome. So there is <laughs> What's on here? There is three oh, in a, three in a, uh, in a box. How do I say? And we're still gonna go eat dinner, so we only got three. That's nine. And it's hot. Look at that. That's a lot of sugar. You see what I'm talking about? Local food. Local. We're going low calm. Look for one move. Ready whenever you are. Not bad. I forgot to record it, yeah. So basically everybody usually stays safe 
and get what they can eat and get what their familiar with accepts me. I'm the one trying to eat something new, eat something local. <laughs> Uh, uh, fish and rice is local, but it's not bad. So it is Saturday, and we are heading to the African drum. African drum. It's what it's called. So it's the Jean Lafitte National Historical Park and Preserve French Quarter Vista Center. So they're having this thing at uh, around 10, the African drum, and then they have something else around 11, I forgot what it's called. Let me see, hold on. The Rack Festival, I think that's what it is. Rack Festival. And from there we're going to go for a food walking tour. So you guys, I don't know, I didn't mention, but I haven't been eating like all the local local food. No, that's not what I meant to say. I haven't eaten like jambalaya and gumbo and all of that because I feel like they're going to have it. Um, we're going to taste them or eat them when we go for the food walking tour. So I'm just kind of saving my stomach for that. I'm saving saving those for that time. Uh, and we're going to do that today. So I'm excited for that. All right, I'll catch you at the African drum. You guys, see the long line at Cafe Du Monde. Look, yo, yo, you guys, this line is mad long. Like, and there are two places, like two spots where they sell it. The old with the bag, and like old the way down here, you guys. I'm so glad we didn't come today because, man, there's no way I'm waiting in line for a beignet like this. Like, oh my god, the line is mad. Yo, it's so long ago. <laughs> like all the way down here, you guys. All the way down here. I'm just glad we already got our own yesterday. Oh boy. I don't know, is, is it is not even really all that. It's just like um what? Puff puff with powdered sugar on it. Like it's not really our thing. There's a lot of sugar. The sugar that we dusted off the beignet yesterday is enough to bake a cake. <laughs> So it's not really like we're not really a big fan of it, but apparently it's a thing that this place is known for and a lot of people just come here to eat it. Um even the one we got yesterday we didn't finish it. Alright guys, so we actually missed the African drum. <laughs> and I'm like, if you're gonna do African drum, you need to do African time as well. You can't say ten and start at ten. Anyway, right now we're just gonna wait for the rag time, rag time festival that they're setting up for right now. Should start in like five minutes. Um, hopefully it's interesting. I don't know. I just feel like I would enjoy the African drum more. So let's see. So this is our first stop, the French market. And we saw this was earlier when we were looking for parking and it's like I, I told myself that I would come back and do some shopping. I do like the truck. <laughs> Thank you. The dark room. And then can you all hear me okay if I'm walking right there? Okay. The Creole style gumbo is going to be using okra. And okra is something that has come to New Orleans with the slaves. 
Actually, the type of rice that is grown from Louisiana through to Georgia is going to all be derived from African rice as well. That also came from the slaves. Now, jambalaya is the one pot rice dish. So as far as foods that are coming from New Orleans that are cooked with the rice in it, we really have two. This is the most popular. With the jambalaya, no matter what type of meat we put in it, there are two different types, red and brown. Red means that there's tomato in it. Brown means there's no tomato in it. Uh, uh, tomatoes are something that we do not start using until we become American, when the Italians are coming in. How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? I like how it takes a sweet time. So this next thing, folks, what just came out, this is the char-grilled oyster. Right now, this is the only store they have open because Ida did take out their other one. Uh, but all the candy that's going to be in the case through here and then the center tables was made locally for this store. Thanks. Guys. Right. Is it so cold? Yes. You haven't even been outside. Anyway, guys. Okay, all right. Anyway, so guys, we're about to get out. So today's our last day yet, Sunday. And we're about to head out for the day. Um, it's evening. We've been in all day, just watching movie and relaxing. Because, you know, vacation is not all about just going out and, you know, hanging out here and there. Sometimes you also need to relax, you know? Calm down. That's also part of vacation. So we are heading out now. We need to go. We wanted to go sightseeing, but Grace is talking about she's saying something about she cannot go, and I think it's because it's um, cold. But we're going to um, buy some souvenirs for sure, and maybe just look around if we're up for it. You know, let's see what let's see what happens. But anyway, so come with me. Let me show you what I'll be buying. Hey guys, look what I got. I got some of this pollen, the single ones, just you know, bring candy home for the people. This is what we got. There's four in this um, bag. Right, let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, bye bye. If beignet isn't a thing that would not be good to eat the following day, I will take some for my boss. As far as she kind of hooked me mm. up on that. <laughs> no, we could do we put the mix and you actually made it. Uh, I'm, not gonna gonna no, I'm, I'm not going to make that. No, I'm not going to make some beignets. Yeah. Nope, I'm good. Oh, you guys. Um, somebody air fried donuts, so I'm sure you can air fry puff puff. I don't know what was on video, but it looked good. Okay. It looked good. Because it's the home of music. Exactly, that's how I want to get this cup. This one is $14.99. You'll find a smaller one now. Oh, but there's a smaller one with um, music. You guys, look what I bought. Thank you. You guys, look what I bought. I bought an alligator. I bought a stuffed alligator, you guys. I bought a stuffed alligator, you guys. I'll show you properly when we get home. <laughs> we're back home. Yeah, it was cold. It was cold, you guys. It was cold. And I was not prepared for it. I have a jacket, but again, I wasn't fully prepared for it. So, we didn't do much. And let me show you my alligator. Wait. Here, this is an alligator slug. See that? <laughs> so I have um, I have a panda from China as well. So I kind of got it because this place is kind of known for alligators. So I got that. Just like China is known for um, panda. So or, well, Shengdu, I think that particular place in China is known for panda. So I got panda when I was in China, when I was in Beijing when I went to visit the Great Wall of China. And I thought, let me get alligator as well. So I got that. And I got, you know, my regular mug and some other souvenirs. Oh, also the flea market. Well, not the flea, I don't know. Is it called the flea market? I think I saw a sign that it's also called the flea market. But it's the French market that I'm referring to. It was closed by the way, so we didn't get anything from there. I want to mention, this place, you guys, this place, like every place, all the places that we went to, it just feels like I'm out of the country. Like every time I keep telling myself, oh, back in America, back in the United States, and I then it dawns on me that, uh-uh, we are still in the United States. <laughs> this is New Orleans. But 
somehow it just feels like we're not in New Orleans. I don't know, the vibe is just different. It's like really, really different. It feels like, I mean, I don't know, at some point it feel like I'm in, it reminds me of China. Not that I'm in China, but it reminds me of China. At some point it will remind me of somewhere else and it just feels like I'm not in America. But anyway, we're gonna pack our bags now because we leave here very early tomorrow. So I'm gonna wrap up here. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Excuse me. And comment and subscribe and share and all of that fun stuff. <laughs>